After reaching historic highs for the third straight week, gas prices are falling. So can we expect to see these prices continue to fall? NBC's News 8's Emily Leonard spoke with Patrick DeHaan now from GasBuddy.com. Finally, we're seeing some relief. Scroll Patrick DeHaan's Twitter page and you can see the excitement and hope as gas prices drop from historic highs. Average gas prices have basically been decreasing now for a month straight across Grand Rapids. The average price that I had hit 519 a gallon is now down to an average of 485. DeHaan says this is not the time to rush out and fill up your tank. He expects the trend of falling prices to continue for at least another week or two, maybe even the rest of the month. If you fill up today, you're going to find a lower price tomorrow and the next day and the next day. When baseline is historic high, how are these drops really hitting Americans? Well, DeHaan says a lot of people are still struggling and every dollar a driver can spend elsewhere helps. A week ago, the average uh, fill up on a pickup truck is $3 less. On a minivan, it's $2 less. On a passenger vehicle, it might be $1.50. Over the course of a year, the savings for drivers can add up. Compared to the peak price that we saw in early June, collectively, Americans are spending $100 million less per day on gasoline than just three weeks ago. DeHaan says we could see prices fall another 25 to 50 cents. He points to the low price leaders, stations like this one in Sparta. We found prices at 4.55 this week. He says concerns about an economic slowdown are helping the prices fall. He also says there's been some modest improvements in gasoline supply, which had been a concern when prices were soaring. Obviously, I think for many, not enough, but it's something, and something's better than nothing. Emily Leonard, News 8.